this sweet, innocent girl who did not deserve the heartbreak is the one who really suffers in the end. Excellent book. Read Jane Eyre. When I was a junior in high school, I was taking honors history class with Mr. Davis and Mr. Kunkel, and we were assigned a term paper that had to be seven pages in length with, uh, I forget how many resources or whatever. But the point of the matter is we, we were assigned the topics randomly, and my topic that I was randomly assigned was Muslim fundamentalism. And at the time, I could not have cared less about Muslim fundamentalism, and this was probably in 1998. So I did my research and, and learned about some of the struggles you know, within the Shiite and Sunni Muslim groups and how there was a conflict going way back with them. And then I've come to find out three years later on 9-11 that that was an issue that at the time was very much a real part of what was going on and something that everybody should have known about. Um, however, out of all the students in my class, it was assigned to me. And I thought it was an extremely difficult topic compared to somebody that might have gotten, um, oh, I don't know, you know, um, starvation in Kosovo or something like that. You know, a topic that was in the news every day, whereas my topic was an emerging topic that nobody knew about. Nobody I asked knew a single thing about it. It required a lot of research on my part. But to know that they had the foresight to give me that assignment, um, knowing that it was important when I didn't, and I think to, to their credit, you know, it showed that they were paying attention to things that as a junior in high school I didn't even know about. So while it seemed very stupid to me, you know, it turns out it was a very important topic to know about and a topic that everybody now probably uh, knows more about. Jane Eyre. Duh. I mean, what a, what a stupid book. It's about a bunch of Jane Eyres in a frickin' forest. Those little leprechaun goblins making pizza. Uh, how do I integrate technology in new modes or ways of teaching? I try to do that um, in, in ways that I know I can tap into students' minds. Um, I've, I've officially coined this generation, Generation iPod, uh, knowing that, that these students are very much enmeshed in technologies like iPods and video games um, and computers in general. So the more technology I can involve them with, whether it's blogging online, or just using an interactive polyvision board. Um, any, any type of thing uh, with bells and whistles that's going to keep and maintain, uh, initiate and maintain attention of the students is, is much better than just hearing me lecture for 80 minutes. What, what do you got there? <laughs> Some warm tang. I was sick today, so, and it tastes real good actually. You'd be surprised, it's like, I don't know, sometimes warm up your tag and you'll see it's a kick in the butt. I don't really think a lot about how to integrate technology in the classroom. I, because I, I see the technology as a tool. And like I'm not going to, you know, because I have a hammer in my toolbox, I'm not going to uh, decide to think, well, I have to you know, make this project because it requires the use of the hammer, and I should use the hammer every so often, I should use the hammer this X amount of time. Um, so I only use the hammer when it's necessary to use the hammer, when it would be the best tool for the job, and the same way with the technology. Uh, I don't really think that the technology is useful in every, you know, in every case. Now the blogging that, we, that we're doing, is, it seemed to serve the, the purpose. The purpose was for you guys to read the textbook. And so how am I going to accomplish that task? There's the most efficient way is, I think, to use the blog as a source of, you know, accountability. You know, are you reading each night? Well, as soon as you're done reading each night, you're going to answer this question and post it to the blog. And so that seemed like a really good fit for the technology. Um, like, even when I was there, we did have technology, but it wasn't, I don't think it was enough. Like, I feel like I wasn't educated enough on certain programs, and now, like, that I'm looking for jobs, I realize that you need a lot of, like, computer, different, or computer skills and, like, different... Um, programs and stuff and so I think it would have been really beneficial to like learn more of the easier steps.
sing among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship.